place is heavily guarded. Enough!
Sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work. All gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. But I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow under King Sigtude's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a drinking horn I received from King Haftan for capturing his bride, Ranghil. Hmm. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold, for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. You missed a few things. The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock.
dead! We'll share a tale. You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his early assault on England myself. This would have been eight, maybe ten years back. It's hard to say. The winters blow More into sail. one another <laughs> like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great distance only to see me. So I poured him ale and fed him bread and listened as he talked. He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such a great war. It was a burden he could not handle. It was then, with tears wetting his lips, that he said, Dog, teach me the art of war. Lead us to England and to victory. But I shook my head. Ragnar, I told him. I have two weddings I must attend soon. Were it not for these, surely I would help you. Ragnar bowed his head. Thank you, dog, he said. Though you will not be on my ship, you will be present in spirit. And that is enough. <laughs> we can continue later. This water, deadly cold.
Sail! So catch the wind! Sing us a song. Pick up. This water, deadly cold. if I stay here. Let the sail out! Let's go.
Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It is as if a curse has befallen this place. Ornir and Ymir wonder where they've gone. You old friend. Traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense.
Let the sail out! Father first showed me this passage. I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that.
The yacht needs help! We shall! He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A yarl taken by bandits? If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! The Jarl will be grateful, trust me! Hey Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near! Go, go on, they are up ahead! You know where they are! You lead! Fine, follow me! This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Kjotve is dead by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I'll spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. You, you will never see me again. I, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. <laughs> 